before starting your training. Keep in mind. No matter how you live or what skills you have, do not forget the fact that each person is an individual and deserves an approach that shows respect to his or her individual rights. Points to pay attention at spaces designed for disabled individuals. You must not take the elevators specifically designed for the people with disabilities, elderly people, people with a medical condition, pregnant women and individuals with children, and warn those who do so. You must not park your vehicle at a parking lot reserved for people with disabilities and warn those who do so. You must not use the restrooms reserved for the people with disabilities unless it's absolutely necessary. You must give priority to disabled individuals, elderly people, people with a medical condition, pregnant women and people with children when utilizing public transportation services. The right and effective communication with different disability groups. Communication with the physically disabled. You should always ask for permission before helping a physically disabled person. Do not hold his or her arm without permission. Do not push a wheelchair of an individual unless the person asks for help. You should first ask whether the person wants help or not. You should not use gestures, mimics and actions which create the impression of feeling sorry, surprised or humiliation focusing on the physical disability of the person. Do not use the word wheelchair bound for people who use wheelchairs or implants. The technological developments in this field are giving disabled individuals more independence rather than restricting them. If you're going to have a long conversation with a person who uses a wheelchair, locate yourself on the person's eye level. If possible, sit on a chair. A wheelchair is the personal space of its user. You should not leave anything on the chair or hang any load on it. Heavy weight may cause wheelchair to topple. When taking off a wheelchair over a ramp or steps, you should do it backwards. Ask the individual if you do not know what to do. Do not block or limit the ramps which are designed for the physically disabled individuals. You should stay at the same walking pace with a person who experiences difficulty in walking. Keep in mind that spasticity is not a mental disability. Act and communicate accordingly. Communicating with the visually impaired. You should always ask permission before helping a visually impaired individual. You should not speak in a loud voice to a visually impaired individual as if he or she has a hearing impairment. Before talking to a visually impaired individual, you should first introduce yourself and then others who are with you, if there are any. When you want to shake hands with a visually impaired individual, you must extend your hand towards the person and snap your finger. You should inform the visually impaired individual before leaving him or her, otherwise he or she might still think you're there. When you need to help a visually impaired individual with sitting on a chair, it's sufficient to help the person touch the back of the chair. In case you're eating with a visually impaired individual, you should outline the table briefly telling him or her about the food served as well as the layout of foods and drinks on the table. You can ask if he or she needs help with eating foods such as meat and fish. Do not forget to say, I'm leaving your drink on the table when offering a drink. Do not leave beverages on the edge of the table. If there's a stain on the clothes of the visually impaired individual, it's enough to point his or her finger on the stain. When walking with a visually impaired person, Make sure he or she holds your arm and walk a step ahead each time. When you approach steps and staircases, slow down a step before. 
You do not have to say we're going up or down each time. Trying to help a visually impaired individual from afar by shouting may hurt them. You must come closer if possible. Use the expressions your right, your left when giving directions. Do not block detectable warning surfaces designed for the visually impaired. If there is a signalized intersection with no audio support, you can help with a visually impaired individual cross the road after asking permission. You can ask the visually impaired person if he or she wants to know which bus or minibus is approaching to the bus stop. Communicating with people with hearing impairment. Get the person's attention by tapping on the person's shoulder before you start speaking. In order to communicate with disabled individuals who can lip read, you must take the angle and the light that the person can see you fully, and you must use short and understandable sentences. You should not be doing other things or eating while talking to a person with hearing impairment. Do not exaggerate your lip movements. Avoid exaggerated facial expressions and gestures. Use short and clear expressions. Do not pretend to understand what the person with hearing impairment has said, if you actually haven't. You may figure out whether the person with hearing impairment has understood you or not from the person's facial expressions. In such a case, try rephrasing what you have said. If you're communicating with a person with hearing impairment in writing, keep in mind that his or her writing skills may not be as advanced as yours. Use short and simple sentences and images when necessary. Don't raise your voice at the person who is using a hearing aid. It may irritate him or her. If you have little or no knowledge of sign language, you can use the finger alphabet. You should learn sign language if there's someone close to you with hearing impairment and you need to communicate frequently. If you're using an interpreter to communicate with a person who has impaired hearing, remember to talk directly to the person you're communicating with, not to the interpreter. If you have a friend who knows sign language, you may ask help through your mobile phone. Communicating with the mentally disabled You must be very patient and understanding when communicating with the mentally disabled. Be careful with your body language and make eye contact. You should not feel sorry for the mentally disabled and or underestimate them. Avoid discriminating attitudes or behavior. Do not adopt a mocking attitude towards the mentally disabled. Avoid making physical contact or practical jokes that may irritate them. Use short and simple sentences when talking to the mentally disabled. You can use examples to support your ideas and use simpler expressions to make yourself clear. You should encourage the mentally disabled to do things on their own. Give them opportunities to do so and appreciate the outcome.